What's up all you Maximum Carnage loving dudes and dudettes, Toy Shiz here and I got a really rockin' review for you today. We are totally gonna be checking out the brand new Hasbro Spider-Man Marvel Legends series, the Multiman Build-A-Figure Wave, the Doppelganger Spider-Man. One of my favorite characters. I have been looking forward to a Marvel Legends version of this sucker ever since the Toy Biz Doppelganger came out. Yes, let's get it over with. He doesn't have ab crunch. He doesn't have ab crunch. It's gonna be okay. Neither did the six arm Spider-Man. So if you didn't buy that one, you're probably not gonna buy this one. But if you're a collector and you're a Spider-Man fan, well, you're probably gonna watch this review. So I'm gonna take you through it, check it out. As always, the fantastic Jerry J. Wilson doing up some really rad artwork. He's got a actually pretty decent bio. I gotta give it to you on that one, Hasbro. Pretty cool. And then all the other figures in the wave. To be honest with you, I'm not too thrilled about the Build-A-Figure. I'm interested to see how Molten Man's gonna go in the movie. But as far as the comic book characters in the wave, I'm really looking forward to these. But this was the one that I have been waiting for and it's you're not gonna take that away from me here's the barcode on the bottom if you want to go ahead and check that out these are hitting Walgreens now we're gonna do this we're gonna get them open this is the Marvel Legends Spider-Man series the doppelganger Spider-Man and while I got all you evil doppelgangers here I just want to say thanks so much for checking out my Marvel Legends review if you like it make sure to subscribe hit that like button and then tell me what you think about the figure and here's the evil living fractal out of his packaging and I absolutely love it. I was messing around with the figure, doing all which ways, all the different poses. I think you guys should give this figure more of a chance than looking five seconds at it and going, wah, wah, eh, that's not for me. He doesn't have ab crunch. But let me tell you something. The one thing that I wish that he had was the black lines for the spider web. Still, I did the same thing with the six arm Spider-Man. Uh, it's weird. It's sculpted. I really wish they would just give it a black wash. I know I could do it myself. I don't want to do it myself. But everything else on him is pure doppelganger. He's that spindly, spidery, just disgusting monster. And I'm a huge, huge fan of weird Spider-Man monster figures from the Toy Biz days now to the Marvel Legends. You give me a weirdo looking Spider-Man and I am just all over that. The face on this thing... I actually really like that. That is so, so cool. I really wish he would have had an articulated jaw. That would have been wild. On the old Toy Biz one, he had this really maniacal tongue sticking out. We'll take a look at that. But he's got a really nice fly eye effect from the comics, painted like a light silver with a white glow going off of it. The teeth are nice. It's got a little bit of a baseline gum that goes all the way around. Just, he looks menacing. I mean, Think about waking up to that, like staring you down. I just, I love this character. He's just a lot of fun and he's just a wild, wicked looking Spider-Man. Now, goes into the costume. Now this is a lot darker than of course the six arm Spider-Man. And I think it fits the doppelganger a little bit better, a little bit more menacing. I would have preferred a little bit more brightness to his costume. And like I said, the more painted web line. He has that textured blue in the costume. After all, this is reuse of certain movie Spider-Mans and yada yada, but hey, you know what? They reuse it again. If you don't want it, you don't have to buy it, but I absolutely like the texture, everything that's going on, and he's got six arms, all with bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and wrist rotation. That's on every single arm. He doesn't have anything at the waist, kicks out about that much, kicks back, eh, goes out to the side, we'll say. He has a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, which I would say just be careful in the sense of he's got really thin little arms and stuff like that. So you don't want to go too much. Not to say that he's brittle, but you just, you never know. So I would say just be careful. He has a boot cuff rotation and he's got articulation at the feet, up, down, left, right, ankle pivot, all that good stuff that you love in terms of just posability and the head is on a ball joint. So you can actually get it kind of down in that sense and then put it back, get him out like that. That's, yeah, that's really cool. You're gonna get to get this guy and do a lot of wild poses. The paint on this guy is actually really great. I have no problems whatsoever from the black to the teeth. The one cool thing I will say though, is that you notice how he has like a knuckle basically, like a fist right there and he's got an open claw and it goes all the way around. So you got two choices. Well, let's say you didn't want that hand up there. You could pull this hand off, 
pull this one off, pop that on. So all of the hands are interchangeable. You can get them every which way. So basically you got three open clawed and you got three fists. And I'm gonna show you, you can get him into a lot of doppelganger type poses. The one accessory, if you call it that at all, is the arm for the Molten Man build figure. And we'll take a full look at that once I have all the rest of the wave because this is the only one that I found at Walgreens. And here he is with the original Toy Biz Doppelganger Spider-Man from Spider-Man the Animated Series. I actually, it's, it's kind of a toss up for me. I will love this doppelganger always. This is one of my most favorite figures out of the Spider-Man the Animated Series. But this doppelganger is a lot of fun and I love posing all the different arms, getting them into those crazy poses, stuff that you can't achieve exactly because there wasn't any joints with this doppelganger. However, I will agree that this particular type of villain, this figure getting them all kinds of spidery poses would have definitely benefited from an ab crunch. You can get them kind of lower, kind of curl them up, get them into some really creepy poses. And unfortunately you can't do that because he doesn't have the crunch. You kind of have to look at it in the sense of you've grown up with this version. Now you got a new version. They still don't have ab crunch, but this one has a heck of a lot more articulation. I like that you can switch the hands, but this one, man, this one is just classic. And I prefer the brighter red costume over the darker one. And of course, here he is lined up with the six arm Spider-Man from one of the last Spider-Man waves. And yes, it shares pretty much the exact same body type. These arms are every arm for this figure now. And you have these clawed feet, which are just all kinds of awesome. I mean, just, I really, really dig that. Like I said before, it would have really benefited from a dark wash, really bring out those spider webs. You can do it yourself. I don't want to do it myself. I want them to do it. But it doesn't detract from the fact that you got all these crazy arms going off. You couldn't switch the hands on this one. So you're kind of stuck with all punching hands. But on this one, you know, you got open and closed and you can switch them up and do whatever you'd like in that sense. And just to show off some Maximum Carnage figures, we've had a new doppelganger now. We've had a slew of carnages over the years. But with the Demo Goblin, fingers crossed that that Marvel Legends is still on its way. It's been pushed back, pushed back, but we're in dire need of a new one. The old Toy Biz 1 ain't really stacking up. And then we need a Shriek and a Carry On, and we are set. So fingers crossed for those. Real quick, while I got you guys here, I just want to tell you about an app that I use to find older and newer toys once in a while. It's called Mercari, and it's actually kind of like an online Garage sale, you can barter with people. Sometimes there's free shipping with certain items. They give you coupons. It's a lot of fun. I'll put a link in the description below. It'll give you a $10 off coupon for your first purchase. From Marvel Legends to Transformers to Star Wars to Ghostbusters, everything and anything, X-Men, heck, there's a lot of stuff on there. I highly recommend it and definitely go check it out. So that's gonna do it for my fresh look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends Molten Man Build-A-Figure Wave the doppelganger Spider-Man, much like what I said with the original six-arm Spider-Man. It's a total reuse of an old Spider-Man movie mold. They didn't give us an ab crunch, and they didn't give us a wave swivel. It's not that big a deal to me. I can understand it for those that want to pose him, do all this kind of picture stuff, and I totally agree. The same thing as I said again, there's no black lines. So in that sense, I'm disappointed. I really wish they would have put the black lines in. And also, it's because of these, these red parts of the joints. Again, I really wish they could figure out a way. I know that when you paint them, it chews up the joints and everything. But to be quite honest with you, I am just the guy that puts the figures like that on his shelf. This looks totally wild. This looks like a creep. You don't want this thing coming after you. So I love it. I love all kinds of crazy, crazy looking Spider-Man. I highly recommend this figure. And I think you should go and get one. They are hitting Walgreens stores now. And hopefully by the 31st of May, you will be able to find ones in other stores because that is the street day. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, make sure to make your Spider-Man a monster one because, man, they look how awesome these things look. I highly recommend any of these. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.